Commander Chris Hadfield, probably the most famous astronaut on the planet. While living in space, he created viral videos viewed by millions and took some great photos of Ireland too. Amy Phillips went along to meet him. Did you always want to become an astronaut and how did you become one? Always is a long word, but I, I watched the first people walk on the moon and I decided to be an astronaut when I was nine years old. So that's pretty much always. And the real question is how did I become one? And so starting at nine years old, I tried to turn myself into an astronaut, learned to fly, learned to speak other languages, kept my body in shape, went to university, joined the Air Force, did a lot of different things. And at the end of it all, amazingly enough, not only was I chosen as an astronaut, but I flew in space three times. So what does it feel to be like space, and is it really scary? I try and never be afraid. And the only way to not be afraid is to not be surprised or helpless. I think if they just grabbed you off the street and put you in a spaceship, you'd be afraid. Yeah. But if they grab you off the street and train you for 15 years and then put you in a spaceship, then it's not as scary as it would have been. What is it like to look down on Earth for the first time? My very first flight was on a, an American space shuttle on Atlantis. We launched out of Florida and we come up across the Atlantic and that takes about 20 minutes. And if you go from Florida, 20 minutes later, you're over Ireland. So the first thing I saw coming across the Atlantic was Ireland and uh, it looks beautiful. On your last mission, you were up in space for five months. What did you do up there and did you come across any difficulties? It's all difficulties. Nothing goes as planned. It's complicated. The space station where I was living orbits the world every 90 minutes, and you're weightless on board. Every single day, all day. Experiments, preparing things, keeping the spaceship healthy, exercising, and most importantly, looking at the world and taking pictures of Earth. Ready to go to bed. I'll show you where I sleep. In space, you don't even have to hold your head up. So you can relax every muscle in your body, and your arms float up in front of you your head tips forward. So you made lots of really cool videos when you were up there. It was like you were right beside us the whole time. Did you realize how popular they were going to be? I, I'd been an astronaut for 20 years already when I went to space this third time. And with the Canadian Space Agency, we really wanted to, to record the experience. All the questions everybody always asks. How do you eat? How do you wash your hair? How I brush my teeth? Okay, and get my toothbrush wet. We just use standard toothpaste in space, brush my teeth just like normal. I've got a mouthful of toothpaste stuff, I've got a dirty toothbrush. So what I do is I just swallow the toothpaste. Space Oddity has over 90 million hits. Would you ever consider a pop career? <laughs> I've been a musician my whole life. I, I have fronted bands for the last 20 years, uh, several different bands. I've played with a lot of different musicians. Space Oddity was just a fun project, that's all. I, but it, it ended up having huge impact, people all around the world. And, uh, and won just the website where my son posted it had almost 20 million hits. But beyond that, it's been seen hundreds of millions of times. I'm really delighted how many people enjoyed it. It was a fun thing to do.